In this lesson, we will build the neck, head, and jaw bones. To get started, let's head over to our layer manager. And what we'll do is just hide a few things we don't need to be concerned with right now. So that's going to be the character's hair. You go ahead and hide that. We can also hide the brows. And then the FFDs on the eyes. So they have their own layer. And then from there, we can go ahead and freeze the character's head. We'll also freeze the eyes and the mouth assets layer. Great. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and start to, to build this bone structure. Let's head over to our side view. It's very important that when we build our bones, we're placing them in the right spot so we get accurate looking deformations. It just takes studying life, and as you do, you not only will find those right spots, but you'll also think of more creative ways of achieving even greater deformations. So it gets really exciting. Let's say we go ahead and get started here. I'll go to wireframe mode, just pressing F3. We'll alt right click to access our bone tools. And let's say we get to work. So we'll go ahead and create the neck bone and the head bone. And we'll end right at the top of the head. Okay, from there we can add in our jaw bone. So I'll go back to create bones. That's going to be placed right at the lower part of the air, right in front, all the way to the chin. And we'll right click again to exit the tool. All right, from there we're going to want to take our jawbone and have that linked to the head. Great. All right, so once that's done, we can now go ahead and rename these to stay organized. Now, with all bones that will be added to the envelope, I like to use a prefix of BN. This is going to make it a lot easier for us to find those bones and add them as envelope objects. So we'll take a look at that very shortly. Let's go to our select tool to exit the, the link tool. I'm going to go ahead and now start to rename these. So that's going to be BN neck 01. So for the head, that's going to be BN head 01. And then the jaw, it's going to be renamed the same way. BN jaw 01. Now for the nubs, we can give them a prefix of BE for bone end. And by doing so, they'll be filtered out when we add the actual envelope bones to our skin modifier. All right, so that's going to be BE head end 01. And then for the jaw, BE jaw end 01. Great. Now, Let's go ahead and create another layer for all of our envelope objects. We can call it our bones layer. Go ahead and close out the bone tools. So with the neck bone selected, the head, and also the jaw, we'll create a new layer. We'll make the default layer active, just in case we were to, let's say, freeze or hide this layer that we are working on. And start to add objects, well, we don't want those objects underneath that, that layer that's only for those envelope objects. All right, so I'll go ahead and rename this new layer to Bones Layer. Great. All right, so by the end of this, when we start to hide objects and hide things like the bones or other objects that the animator does not need to be worried about, it's going to lead to a lot cleaner control rig for the animator to work with. And they'll appreciate that very much. I'm going to go ahead and now show that layer again. Let's go ahead and grab the nubs and add them to, let's say, an objects to hide layer. We'll also store other components of the rig that the animator will not need to be concerned with in this layer we're about to create. So again, with the nub selected, we'll create a new layer. We'll make the default layer active. And let's go ahead and I'm going to call this Objects 
to hide layer. Okay, great. All right, well, once that's done, I'm now going to go ahead and bring the torso layer in. So eventually, we're going to want to have this face rig connected back to the body. So this is one way of doing that. So I've kind of rigged the torso here and also added a global control. All right, but what we can now do is take our neck bone and have that linked to the chest. So if you like, you could always take this torso mesh and go ahead and freeze that. Simply right-click Object Properties, Freeze, choose OK. And now we can take the neck bone and then link that to the chest. All right, so if we were to take this chest control object, start to rotate that, the entire head will, should follow. Okay, great. All right, let's say from here we go ahead and unfreeze the torso. It's just a matter of heading over to display. And underneath freeze, we'll go ahead and choose unfreeze by name. And go ahead and select the torso. Let's see. There it is. Geo torso. Choose unfreeze. Now, as far as linking goes, we're going to do a little bit more linking. Let's head over back to our perspective. Just before we finish this lesson off, let's go ahead and link some other things uh, to, together. I'll unfreeze the head layer. Could also do that for mouth assets. I'll also unfreeze the eyes. All right, so what we're going to want to do is take things like the the moles, we can have those linked to the head bone. And this mole on the mouth, again, we're going to rig that to stay glued to the surface as it deforms. So we're just linking it right now just for a temporary fix. So as we start to deform the face, again, this mole will not stay behind. All right, but with that selected, you can go to wireframe mode. And take that and have it linked to the head bone. I'll go ahead and unhide the FFD layer so we can grab the eye groups. Let's go ahead and select them both. And then from there, we'll go ahead and have them linked to the head bone. You can see there's a mole on the head with a few little hairs. That's pretty creative of uh, Justin. Adds a lot of character to this guy. Let's go ahead and link that to the head bone as well. Let's just link everything to the head bone. <laughs> okay, uh, for the mouth assets, we're going to take the upper teeth and link them to the head bone. So we'll grab that group. And let's find a little space here. We could also use the schematic. Shouldn't be too necessary here. We could just go ahead and hide the head for now. We will be working with the schematic view, though. All right, so have that link to the head bone. Now for the lower teeth and for the tongue, we'll have that link to the jawbone. And again, linking the tongue to the jawbone, that's just temporary. We will be rigging the tongue, and then we'll create a GUI window to control its deformations. So we'll get into learning how to build something like that. Okay. Let's take care of the hair as well. We'll unhide that. Select the hair group, add that to the head bone. All right, well, that should be it. We can now go ahead and hide the FFDs. We can go ahead and show the character's head. And let's say we call this lesson finished. So in the next lesson, we are ready to start building control objects, and we'll start with our net control.